Welcome to the Folks Learn. Today we will learn how to load selected columns data in Data Grid View. You need to add a checklist box and button to form 1. When you select data in checklist box and click the button a new form open shows columns you selected in checklist box control and fill data in data grid view. You need to download Northwind database to practice. We will connect to the Northwind database and get the data in categories table. You need to add columns of the categories table into checklist box control. We will select columns what we want to get data. Now we will create a new form and add a data grid view to new form, then set data source for the data grid view control. You need to add a connection string to connect to the Northwind database. Connection strings can be stored as key value pairs in the connection string section of the configuration element of an application configuration file. The name attribute is a name that you provide to uniquely identify a connection string so that it can be retrieved at runtime. The provider name is the invariant name of the .NET Framework data provider. Now we will add code to process get selected columns from checklist box control. When presenting data in a Windows Forms checklist box control, you can either iterate through the collection stored in the checked items property, or step through the list using the getItemCheck method to determine which items are checked. The getItemCheck method takes an item index number as its argument and returns true or false.
you can see the columns you selected separate by comma. A SQL connection object represents a unique session to a SQL Server data source. With a client server database system, it is equivalent to a network connection to the server. SQL connection is used together with SQL data adapter and SQL command to increase performance when connecting to a Microsoft SQL server database. To ensure that connections are always closed, open the connection inside of a using block. A SQL command object allows you to specify what type of interaction you want to perform with a database. For example, you can do select, insert, modify, and delete commands on rows of data in a database table. The SQL Data Adapter serves as a bridge between a dataset and SQL Server for retrieving and saving data. SQL Data Adapter is used in conjunction with SQL Connection and SQL Command to increase performance when connecting to a SQL Server database. Thank you for watching this video.